They're six for 16 on third down tries. Here's another one right here. Salopec Winman hit in the backfield. Wow. And he felt that when Jacoby Winman got him this time. What football means to me is, is my pride and joy. And I'll kind of use it like as an escape. Being from the city of New Orleans, is, it's not easy. Ida, one of the strongest hurricanes on record to hit Louisiana. The state's third major hurricane in just over a year. 100 lives lost to violence in 124 days. When I play the game, it's just more of like a sense of relief. With a play fake, steps to his left and tries to throw it, batted down by Jacoby Winman. I actually enjoy waking up every day and doing what I do. I love football, and I thank God for him putting me in the position I am today. It was kind of tough growing up where I was from. People being distractions, being in the wrong crowd, wrong place at the wrong time, a lot of violence. It was pretty rough. I know they seen a lot of different things. I was involved in criminal activity as well, but I never brought it to the front door. It's so easy to get sucked into this street life and because you got so many influences, every which way you turn is something right there that you see it firsthand. I did what I had to do to raise them like in the neighborhood, a lot of violence, a lot of drugs, you know what I'm saying? I always talk to them about having their own mind, like don't follow what you see, do what you want to do with yourself. It's hard because you see a lot at such a young age. It kind of just puts you in one of those positions, like, this is not where I want to be. The person who got me into football was my brother, Isaiah Winman. We always been pretty competitive growing up in the household. We used to play a lot of little crazy games, like throwing the ball on the roof, see who catch it first. Uh, we used to go around playing, throw up tackle and stuff, like outside in the grass, like backyard football. Like, I'll never forget that day when we was rolling the ball on the roof, and then my mom pulled up and said, let's go sign y'all up for Pee Wee football. Y'all yeah, about to take all this energy and put it somewhere else. So I brought him to the park. The club and started playing football at the age of six. We just started playing and, like, got acquainted with the sport real fast. Coaches liked us. We got right into football. Like, it's just something that just came natural to us. From high school, pretty much as a freshman, you know, I had inspirations of being a quarterback. Coach Brandon Jordan, we met pretty much in like my freshman year, but he always wanted me to come play defense. Man, when I first seen Jacoby, I just seen a big athlete. He was always a big kid. His brother played safety on the team also, and they had an athletic gym. Jacoby Windman cannot be taken down by mere arm tackles. He shakes off two defenders and outruns another before being taken down in the red zone. We used to go to the park outside of high school. We'd go to a neighborhood playground. We All we had was a trash can and some cones, man. Hey, I'll get you his hip. There you go, good. Hey. Hey. He was new with D-line, and he was just learning positions, so it was about any means necessary, we would get better. I took it seriously. As my senior year came, it kind of became a thing for me to be a defensive guy. I probably received about eight scholarships. 321 yards and receiving and three touchdowns. Decided to go to UNLV because I felt like that was the best choice for my opportunity at the time. I just wanted to have a different experience and a part of that was I didn't want to be close to home because I know how home could get. I said, Jacoby, don't be scared to leave. So I said, I ain't scared to leave. Dude went straight to Vegas, Nevada. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So I was all for when he made the move. I mean, any, it didn't matter where he went. We was going to come and support him regardless. UNLV, oh, he did great. But Whitman says, no, I'm coming New Orleans style. I had all my food yesterday. I'm ready to go get you, baby. He stood out. And not just about football, man, just as a person. Every time I spoke with a coach, telling me how respectful he is, how humble he is. You know, you raise a good son. I feel like it was like a humbling experience. It just made him hungry. Cause like now he's showing y'all he in a better conference and he's still doing what he was doing at UNLV. A hurricane that I remember going through is probably Hurricane Ida. Hurricane Ida making landfall in Southeast Louisiana as a powerful category four storm. No power, no water, no like food really, cause no no places was open, and it just was kind of just you know your family. 
that particular moment brought us even closer together because that's when we really realized, you know, even more that we only got each other. It was almost as scary as Hurricane Katrina, but not as scary as Hurricane Katrina. It, it was rough. It was hard, disgusting. Everybody agitated, aggravated. It was just no lights for what, like 14, 15 days. Boy, did Ida leave its mark on Louisiana. And thousands and thousands are without power this morning. Just doing something as simple as just playing cards, you know, with a candle right there. It was just one of those moments that it just felt so real because you're like, we in this position, but you know, now what? But that's what we did to occupy our time. We'll play games, you know, we'll play cards, which is his favorite, just to keep people up in spirit. Like, that's what I love about Jacoby too. He's a very good spirited person. Like, you know, he's not gonna let you be down in spirit. It was pretty challenging, but now that I look back, you grow from it. You go face adversity, but what you gonna do after that? The process of me wanting to transfer was just pretty much, you know, I just wanted a better opportunity for me and my future. I spent three years at my old school. That was the ultimate thing. I wanted to challenge myself and see how far I could go. I told him, when you hit this transfer portal, like, you're going to see this, this recruit process is going to open up for you. You're going to get that experience. So I was real happy for him. One of the bigger reasons why I chose MSU because the culture here is great. Here we go, Spartans, here we go. When I came on my visit, they welcomed me in with open arms. MSU is a great school. Just taking that leap, you know, that's what it's all about. I believe Jacoby seeing another coach coming in, trying to take a leap. At that time in his life, he was willing to take a leap to do better and gain better, you know, to push him closer to his goal. He can do a lot. He's a versatile athlete. You know, he's really tough. He has a nose for the ball. He brings a lot to the table. I'm so glad that he's here. Third and 18 at the 23. Tyler's back in the game at running back. Salapak being pressured. Nice and he's sacked. They got him Windman. around the ankle. The sack from Jacoby Winman. My first sack as a Spartan, man, it just, it felt great. The first thought that came to my head is like, man, look how far you came. Like, look how much you grew. I was at work watching the game. I'm over at UPS. I'm at work. Everybody keep coming there looking because I'm screaming now. Like, What's going on? Hey, what's going on? I'm like, man, my brother making plays. I'm happy for him. A week before the game, I said, man, all I need is four tackles and two sacks. The last four minutes, he gave me that four tackle. And he shakes away and dives forward. Again. I left the stadium. I got what I want. I'm bye. I walked to the car. <laughs> I'm out there waiting on him. Like, I'm here. I'm here, and this is what is going down. This is how it's going down. Wayman walks in the door as a leader. He loves football. And he didn't wait to be a leader on our team, and I really respect that. I mean, coming in out of the portal and walking in the door and immediately stepping up as a leader, I mean, I have a lot of respect for that. Everything we do, fast, physical, focus. Let's get it. Seeing us both here at the same time and both doing great things is, is kind of giving me chills, man. People say we can't make it from there, that all you go end up dead or in jail, and, and that we here. We at East Lansing playing in the Big Ten is it, just a blessing. Just to see a young black brother coming from where, we, where we're at. Like, I'm still here in New Orleans, still in the same struggling neighborhood, still in New Orleans, and to see him come as far as he came, like, you know, it's, it's beyond measures. Outside the football, proud. Never had to run to jail. Name never was caught up in foolishness. All you have to do, stay focused, keep God first, and sky's the limit. My family, they have the biggest influence on me. They my why, man. Just seeing how hard they work, just try to give back in my way by playing football. Seeing how far football will take me, and then I take care of them. It's not easy growing up in the city of New Orleans. That particular city, man, is just like, it's one of those cutthroat cities. I believe you grow from each moment. You gotta conquer and overcome, and you gotta face adversity, but it's all about how you finish.